UTS Library's research data team recently adapted a training module on research data management that had been licensed for reuse. This module is intended as the primary training resource on RDM for researchers at UTS. Originally created in Articulate, we shifted the format to LibGuides for embedding in Canvas. And this process introduced several issues that needed resolving. Recognising this as an opportunity to enhance the module's accessibility, we engaged a digital accessibility specialist from our IT unit to conduct accessibility testing against the World Wide Web Consortium's Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. This testing provided recommendations for improvement, which we implemented with inputs from the Learning, Design and Technology unit. The modification can be summarised into three key aspects structure and navigation, visual clarity, and accessible activities. Proper structure and clear navigation is essential for assistive technologies like screen readers, as they rely on these cues to provide a coherent user experience. Previous headings did not create meaningful landmarks for assistive technologies. These were replaced with HTML tags that created logical headings and section hierarchies, including headers, main sections, and footers to delineate different parts of the page. Interactive elements were correctly associated with headings, improving navigation and context. Maintaining consistent visual conventions for controls and menus also helps users to navigate the module, reducing cognitive load and enhancing user experience. Visual clarity was another key focus area. We adjusted text to ensure sufficient colour contrast with the background, vital for users with visual impairments or colour blindness. We also ensured that text could be zoomed to 200% without loss of content or functionality, allowing users to enlarge text as needed. We avoided relying solely on colour to convey information. For example, in the section explaining the university's classification system for data sensitivity, we had initially used font colour to denote sensitivity levels. We changed this to include a coloured dot beside the headings to align with the sensitivity information while keeping the text black. We also considered content visibility and functionality across different devices and orientations, including portrait mode to enhance accessibility for users on various devices. We also looked at making interactive activities accessible. We aim to ensure that all interactive elements, such as quizzes and buttons, could be navigated using a keyboard, recognising that not everyone uses a mouse. Initially, the module had contained some drag and drop activities. However, testing revealed that the text was truncated in some of the boxes impacting the functionality of screen readers. On advice from the Learning Design and Technology team, all quizzes were changed to multiple choice format, simplifying interactions and making them more accessible for users with different needs. We also provided descriptive alt text for each image, ensuring visually impaired users can understand the content through screen readers. One section of the module uses an interactive graphic element that we really liked but could not make accessible. The solution we employed here was to create an accessible Word doc version of this section, which can be downloaded from the top of the page. There is still work to be done. For example, there are a number of videos included in the module that do not currently have captioning. Our plan is to replace these videos with recordings of UTS staff and we will address the captioning issue at this point. We learned a lot from this process and from working with our digital accessibility specialist and learning design and technology unit. It highlighted for us the importance of considering accessibility needs as early as possible when designing and creating digital content.